so uh, today the topic is grief and coping with grief so uh, just firstly i'll take a first few minutes just trying to define what grief looks like when we talk about just sadness and when we talk about grief they are at uh, you know at a, the grief is is at a much higher level when sadness when something happens outside of us when we are so much shaken by it when our heart breaks when we feel so much despair so much helplessness that we are unable to change anything that we can't do anything that pain that level of pain is what we would call as grief it is again just a frequency and yet it is it is almost impossible to be able to see through that frequency at least at first glance you don't recognize just sadness there is so much else filled with it with grief comes anger anger sometimes at god anger sometimes at the entire universe as to how this could happen to me and why would something like this happen to me and so you are feeling helpless you are feeling the victim you are feeling despair all around you and that's what grief is all about and so even though we've talked about so many different ways of just simply releasing emotions and this is simply another emotion but today the topic because um you know it does it does need a lot more awareness to be able to understand grief and then to be able to begin releasing it there can be many outside instances which will lead us to this place and each of them are simply a story yes we get into the story yes we attach ourselves to actors and yet everything is simply just a story you know most of the times the grief comes with death when a loved one passes when the loved one is is no longer around us and we go through a lot of grieving why because we had expectations we created so many attachments to them we wanted something from them even if that was just love even if that was just hug but there was an expectation that you are giving someone love and that they will continue to receive and to give back that same love to you over and over again and so when somebody leaves whether it's a parent or it's a spouse or it's a child and it's somebody who has been an actor for you to give love then you get into a lot of grieving when it doesn't necessarily have to be through death by the way it can also happen when somebody just leaves you know you spend a lifetime with someone and suddenly one day they, one day they just simply get up and say okay you know we don't love you anymore and we want to leave we would we don't want to be a part of your life anymore we don't want to be in a relationship with you anymore and at that point also you grieve not just the loss of that person but many a times you also grieve all of that spent time the time that you think was wasted that time that is now no longer going to come back and here it was you wasted all of this time on this person and now that person is simply leaving and you grieve that too you grieve that for a long time and it's that's why it's not just about you know somebody's death but there are so many different ways in which we get to experience grief if we lose one of our body parts and again as we lose that body power part it's something that we have attached ourselves to this is mine this is going to stay mine it belongs to me and it needs to work in a certain way and then suddenly if you lose a body part again there is a lot of grief a lot of anger that is created a lot of resentment that's cre getting created in you through all of this everybody knows and you all know what my take on this is going to be well grief is not something that got created today didn't get created today you didn't get created today you are energy and simply in your energy field exists that grief you picked up so much sadness maybe this life maybe another life but then the grief exists in your energy field 
even in this life, if you haven't experienced something like this, I would be pretty sure that you would have grief sitting in your energy field. And so when we talk about releasing of grief and we talk about how to process this emotion, even though you think that you haven't been through grief, I will tell you the process and you might want to explore that a little bit more and to process that emotion just a little bit more. So when we are looking at grief and the grief is sitting within us, then anybody or everybody can be the tool. But what is the cause for that grief? The cause is simply one at all times. And the cause is that you thought something belonged to you. That attachment of belonging is the cause. That attachment towards expectations that no, I, I deserve this from you. You need to give this to me. Those expectations that we have from an outside person, those attachments that we have from an outside person, what do I always kind of talk about the link? From the attachments, we create expectations. From the expectations, there is going to be pain. That's how the link works. Expectations will give you pain at some point or another. And so when we have expectations from an outside person, that's all that we need to look at. Where have we created conditionality in the love? We all understand by now that the journey is from the mind to the heart. Mind frequencies, those of separation. This is my body and that is your body. From your body, I have expectations. And when you don't fulfill, I feel that separation. And there could be so, so many different ways in which you don't fulfill, but I feel that grief within me, that sadness, that deep sadness, that breaking of the heart sadness within me when the expectations are broken. When I start to look at love as being unconditional, then the journey is being made from the mind to the heart. This is where we come into oneness. These are the frequencies, the frequencies of the heart as we talk about. They're all about love. They're about oneness. They're about surrender. They're about understanding that there needs, that, you know, we are energy. And from that energy space, there is no separation between you and me. When here we are in the mind space, in the body space, this is who I am. And then when our journey begins and we start to, we begin to understand that we are not just this body, we are not just our emotions, we are so much more. As we understand that just a little bit more and just a little bit more, then the journey is towards unconditional love. The journey is towards the frequencies of the heart. The journey is towards oneness. And then there is no loss. In oneness, how can there be any loss? In oneness, we are able to understand, we are able to comprehend that all of this, everything that's playing out in the outside is simply a play of our emotions. Constantly, even in this play, what is the thing, what is the question that I will want you to ask? As always, just the one question. When I'm seeing outside what is happening, what is happening inside of me? If my heart is breaking and if I have a finger pointed on the outside, you are breaking my heart. Then again, the finger to come within and to say, no, grief is within me. And I am now going to be able to release it. As you begin the process of releasing grief, you know, it's, it's, it's so intense. This emotion is actually so much more intense than all the other emotions, not even anger, because grief holds that anger also as part of itself. So that's why I tell people, firstly, simply to be able to understand that you are grieving. No matter what has happened to you, it could be an outside event, it could be something that happened to you internally. Even when, you know, when, when we have this body lesson playing out and let us say we went through some kind of abuse and then we never get to express it and it collects within us 
as a lot of anger, as a lot of resentment, and there is grief hidden in there as well. So when we first begin to look at grief in its face, just to acknowledge that yes, this too is simply an emotion. It's an emotion, it's a frequency, and we can tune out of it. But firstly, before we tune out of it, let us experience it just for a few minutes. We don't have to run away from it. We don't have to walk away from experiencing any emotion. Just, oh my God, why am I experiencing this? I shouldn't be experiencing this at all. This is not a nice feeling. Well, the minute we start to run away from anything, that is what keeps persisting. So when we are looking at anything that makes us so sad, simply to accept and acknowledge that sadness too. And you cry. The tears are always a great release. I constantly tell people that it's not that we stop shedding tears. It's just that the quality of the tears changes. So initially, if you're going to try, you know, cry the, the tears of sadness, if you're going to cry the tears of all of that pain that is inside you, that is absolutely perfect because you need to acknowledge to yourself and you need to allow yourself to grieve. You don't have to do it, you know, for years now, because now our journey towards awareness has begun. So now that we understand that this is simply a grief that we were carrying, and now that grief can simply be released as well. We have the candle tool, and nowadays we have so many different candle tools. Do whatever, you know, takes your fancy, but simply to acknowledge that this too is simply an emotion. This too is a frequency. I've experienced that frequency and now I can change the channel. You simply have to do the same thing over and over again, except that the reminder over here is a bit difficult because you get too lost in the outside actors. The intensity of pain is so high that it might take you some time to get into this awareness that this too is simply a frequency. This too, you can release. You are still the powerful one. You have the power. The power of changing your emotion when something outside is happening. And you say, no, I understand that this would have normally put me into a lot of deep sadness, but now I'm going to change the frequency. And I'm going to take my energy from Meenal. Or I'm going to tune into another energy. Whatever energy of joy and abundance that calls out to you, simply tune into that energy and don't tune into the grief. But before, you know, before we even circle towards how to not tune into grief, completing the cycle, yes, firstly, you allow, you shed those tears for the grief and then you are able to observe and now you release. As you release, you will find that the, the journey from this place that I have lost something, that something that belongs to me has now been taken away from me. That feeling will begin to be transported. It will begin to be transformed into the energies of oneness. And you will understand that nobody has gone anywhere. Everyone is right here with us. This is energy. I am energy and you are energy too. We have nowhere to go. We are simply energy playing in different frequencies. And as we finish the play, sometimes when we are unaware, the play gets deeper and deeper and we create more of those energies. When we are aware, we, we experience those energies and then we use our power, our power of awareness. That's the whole power that we have. Are we aware of our emotion? As you become aware of your emotion, you will be able to exercise your power of changing that emotion, of shifting that emotion, of coming into oneness with that exact same actor that is giving you the grief. The same actor, because after all, it's only an actor. That actor has been given a script by you to show you your attachments. That actor has been given a script 
only by you that there is no other your mirror is reflecting these energies back at you which means you must be holding them you must be holding them and you haven't paid attention you weren't aware but now you are and now we use this opportunity to release whatever needs to be released actors will come and actors will go the grief if you don't release it will stay what happens in unawares when we are unaware and let us say an outside event happens a death happens how will we deal with it well sometimes we get sad and then slowly we start to take our attention away from that that grief is still sitting over there unprocessed mind you but we simply we need to keep on going ahead with life and so we keep taking our attention away from that place as we take our attention away yes that's you we are able to cope we are able to cope much better and we are able to get out of the grief frequency and then what happens sometimes because the frequency is still sitting it's still sitting in our energy space and so when that frequency comes on again an outside event that gets created will again put us back into grief and this time we will be triggered not just from this time as a fresh start but also from all that baggage that we are carrying and that's why it is so important to be able to process we can process now that we are aware the game of unaware is to create deeper and deeper emotion of the same some grief will create deeper grief will create deeper grief and that's the game of unawareness and then when we are aware then some grief and when we look at it we will be able to look at okay this actor has become a tool for our sadness and then we simply release our sadness and we will find ourselves tuning back into abundance tuning back into masti equanimity because at that place when we are sitting in the heart when we are able to give unconditional love to that person the attachments to the body are broken we have no expectation from the body only because we know that the love hasn't stopped the unconditional play the unconditional love will continue to be received by us through so many different ways the people who are giving you love are simply your reflection we forget that it's so easy to forget because when somebody gives us love and we hug that other person very quickly our mind fools us into thinking they are giving us the love they that separate person that person is giving us love we actually forget that it's simply our mirror that's at play right now that person is only reflecting our energies of self love back at us they are not giving us love they are reflecting love back at us it's our love in our energy field for ourselves that's coming back to us in the form of this mirror and that mirror when we understand everybody as simply being a mirror to our energy then we understand that the love the only love needs to be given only to ourselves rest all the all the other mirrors are going to reflect that which we are feeling for ourselves and when we find that we are attached to that body because suddenly now we thought that no this person is giving us love we must hold on to them if we don't hold on to them this reason for our love will disappear we won't get love from anywhere else what is this this is the frequency of the mind there is a separation and then in this moment when there is so much separation actually this is not love either this is filled with conditions you need to be here with me you need to be around me you even need to be alive all of these are conditions that we are putting on love and that you know that attachment when it breaks that's the cause for our grief but when we come to the frequency of the heart we understand distance means nothing times means nothing 
when today we all call out to money and he comes to us and gives us answers we see this over and over again this play of unconditional love between us and between money and where is this coming from all of you you never even met money you didn't even know money and yet you are able to receive love because love doesn't play that unconditional love doesn't play in time it doesn't play in space it definitely doesn't play in form and so understanding that unconditional love is not connected to our body at all and we will be able to experience love from so many other sources we just have to open ourselves to the experience and now to the story that i um, i i went through several years ago my journey started my journey started about um, you know 7 years ago and i had already lost money in the body form uh, and there was a lot of grief uh, there was grief unlimited for about 17 years every single day morning and evening i would and then also as i would cry i would constantly be you know oh he left us when we needed him uh, he wasn't there and he left us so there was a lot of grieving and a lot of anger at god and everything for the next 15 16 years and then you know this journey into awareness started and before we knew it money was the one who appeared magically and said whoa i've always been there with you i've always been sitting in your heart waiting for you to tap into these frequencies and waiting for you to discover that i never did go anywhere and then after that of course i would always constantly fire money like you know why did you have to wait for 18 years couldn't you have done this faster why did my journey have to be so long and and there was constantly this this blaming him for putting me through all of that trauma for the 16 17 years so much of grief that i created with his name as the actor and yet so you know when when the journey started and i started to receive guidances one day i was sitting and feeling extremely sad and i told him this i said everything else is okay you now come to me in in guidance you now tell me all the answers you lead my path and yet i miss that hug that hug from you which was so important to me i would always be looking forward to it nobody else gives me a hug like you do and so i really really miss that hug and and i was you know i was shedding some tears and and with that i went off to sleep in the night i had a very um, high temperature and i i i was feeling very very unwell and that now that i understand it was simply releases happening and so something got released and and some more understandings came my way and so money appeared in the night in my dream and he asked me he said what do you seek what do you love uh, you know what do you look for and i said no that hug i don't receive from anybody and i look for that hug from anyone and and you are not there and you are the only one who hugged me like that and then he said to me he said you are looking at one you know you're looking for one mirror you are looking for one mirror of yours and you're looking for that large mirror that was me but i broke and i broke into a thousand pieces but when a mirror breaks what do you get you just get a thousand pieces of mirrors and so he said you know now i come to you as those thousand mirrors every single day i come to you all the time giving you that hug but you are so stuck you are still looking for that one big mirror but i've i've not gone away i've actually multiplied i'm coming to you in so many different ways and giving you giving you that hug and you are simply not receiving you've closed yourself and you are not receiving but just simply open yourself out and you will find that it's everybody through everybody that comes and hugs you who are they but me only sending my love and sending my hug to you and that day it was such a huge revelation because what had i tied myself to i had tied myself not just to that body form but to that single act of the body form that hug and with that tying with that attachment with that expectation and the expectation was breaking and each time i wouldn't receive that hug in the way i thought would be the perfect hug what was i receiving pure pain i was receiving 
more grief. And so now that I understood that it was him all along, it was him in every form. And that the, the nature of my hug itself changed to everybody. And so now when I hugged, I understood that it was money that was hugging me back. And so there was so much more love that was being received by me. And I understood that, you know, he's, he's not gone away in the body. It was only one person who could do that. But now that he's energy, he's coming to me in so many different ways. And the love is simply growing because now the love is unconditional. Now that there are no expectations, cannot do anything, can't be attached to a body form, the love has turned unconditional. And now we are ready to receive from every place that unconditional love. And so that's why even as you are grieving for a body to understand, to understand that it is not about losing someone, the loss only happens when you are in the mind because you are losing a body and that's where your understanding is stuck. When we begin to appreciate that we are not just this body, we are not just our emotions, we are not just our thoughts, we are creators. I am Shiva and you are Shiva and the Shiva is forever. There is no destruction. There is no creation. We are energy. And as we see the energy play, we can receive at any point in time from so many. I have a beautiful energy story to share, which is just playing out right now as we speak. As many of us know that uh, in, in our MPFI family, there, there is Aruna and Shweta, and they've lost two family members within the last week. And as they lost the two family members, you know, when I first heard about it and I simply, you know, sent out my unconditional love to them and I sent out a little word of prayer, but I did, I did become sad. And as I tuned into sadness, yes, I, I asked money, you know, why this game of death? And I received a beautiful understanding, a beautiful guidance. I shared that too with many of you. Maybe I'll, um, I'll, I'll put it up again on, on this uh, platform when the video comes out. But we received, uh, so I received some understanding about death, but then I was able to process my sadness and to be able to release it. A few days passed and then yesterday I was having a conversation with both of them for the very first time. And it's just been a few days and when I spoke to Aruna and to uh, Shweta, it was so beautiful to watch that the two of them had not tuned into the frequency of grief. They were staying at the frequency of Menal. They had a lot of help from Kanika. I wasn't even there in the body form. And this is the most beautiful form because when something happens to many of you, your first port of call is, oh, let me call Menal. She will have the answer. And I said, I've already given you everything that you need to have. And that's the energy. So please sit and take answers in the energy. And so as they were tuning into the frequency of Meenal, automatically help arrived, money arrived, and he came through Kanika. And she was guiding them each step of the way, what to do. And within the two days that passed by, both of them were taking their guidances. They were taking guidances from those energies that had just, it seemed like they had left them. But as soon as they received guidance, they could see very clearly that no one had gone anywhere. And they were able to receive all of that love. They were able to receive that oneness and be in so much gratitude and unconditional towards the energies that are playing out these parts for them. Everybody else around them is breaking apart and that's their energy. It's their journey of unawareness to awareness. But these two, they just knew they just knew what it is to be in awareness and how to shift the frequency. And such a, such a big event happening outside. This is a kind of test I wouldn't pray for anybody to go through. But then that is how the energies play. When the energies are here, 
to break your attachments they don't have this thing about what's good and what's not they are not judging the one that's judging is you in the body and as you release your judgments you are able to see the energy play you are able to see that nobody is leaving nobody has gone anywhere and you are able to receive love at all times just even more probably so much more they knew what the path was i didn't even tell them the path they already just tuned into my energies they knew what the path was and they were able to what took me 17 years of daily morning and evening and they were able to be in thankfulness in gratitude for everything that's happening to them and it took them 4 days so coming back to grief that's all that we need to understand about grief it is after all a frequency we honor it we honor it for a few minutes we honor it maybe even for a few days but the power to be able to look through and to see oh it's a frequency i can change it i can change it at any point in time i can and for that then the the so many tools that that we have available to us they become available even more in that point when we need it we simply have to be in awareness our awareness is the game changer and that's where when we know i can shift from this frequency and take on meaner energies i don't have to sit in my sadness anymore i don't have to sit in despair i don't have to feel desperate it's a feeling i can candle it i can release it i can watch it from a distance i don't have to be in the story the more you be in you know in your own heart and not in the outside story the more this beautiful energy of the heart will work for you so may you never have to go through the grief you know that's my prayer but i also understand that even if you do go through grief it will be with awareness and all the answers will be there for you in the meantime as you look at any of the instances that have already happened in the past if there has been a past event that created grief for you make sure that you process that emotion go back there look at who you were and release that energy that you created over there energy doesn't play in time and space it's very much still sitting in your energies field and so now here is your chance how do you release it i have a i have a, a, a youtube video which is all about tools for deeper release and you can go into that that tools for deeper release you can look at you can look at all of your emotions that you created at that point in time and hug your younger one and as you hug your younger self you will be changing the energy you will be transforming that energy in its energy field itself maybe you didn't have anything of grief in this particular life but simply come into the energy of meenal and and how to do that just those lines i take energy from meenal i am meenal i take energy from meenal i am meenal as you take energy from me throw this question out to the universe is there anything that i need to clear on grief today and maybe some thoughts will come don't put your mind to it simply keep asking the universe you won't even understand the story maybe it will be a past life maybe it maybe it will be a flashes of a few lives you don't need to put your mind towards it it's not about your knowledge it's simply about the knowing and so you are connected to the universal intelligence simply keep asking what do i need to release from here a word will come maybe a few sentences will come take that guidance and work on yourself in the frequency of meenal all the answers come easy there is no struggle it just comes to you easily so understand that if you have programs of struggle if you're not able to receive guidance then firstly with more attention to the energy and releasing your mind i release my mind i take energies from meenal i am meenal that's the statement that you make to yourself 
it could also be something that you've saved for the future that no when this happens it's going to cause a lot of grief for me and that could be about the death of a loved one or something you know and we already prepare ourselves in all those ways possible we keep storing our grief and we are only going to release it on that day when that event happens and i say to you no don't save it let it go you don't have to carry this heavy burden with you at all times so let it go today process it today you think of whoever it is that you're going to attach your grief to whoever that loved one is that you're going to feel so bad because you haven't processed your attachments as you put expectations to others right now as you sit with attachments towards the others as you mistake this attachment for love let me tell you that this is only the forming of pain as we let go of these attachments as we begin to understand true unconditional love we can exchange it right here right now we don't have to wait for them to become energy we can experience unconditional love as you and they are still in the body but you've been able to look at all your expectations and release them i accept you as you are i love you as you are i allow you as you are and those are the lines that tell us that there is unconditional love if there are parts of the other that you are unable to accept then the work is only within there are parts of you that you haven't accepted towards yourself there are parts of you that you are still judging there are parts of you that you are still holding or wanting to hold control over so as you release those parts you will find that you are loving yourself unconditionally and that unconditional will flow to others as well so i was talking about the the poem that i had received when i was feeling so upset with uh, what was happening in uh, in aruna's life and and this was the guidance that i received kal raat meri mulakat hui maut se aayi thi wo kisi aur ke aangan mein kisi aur ke ghar le chali thi ek hi pal mein kisi ka bhara pura sansar मैंने तुतकारा मौत को क्यों इतना दुख देती हो आ जाती हो बिन बुलाए देखती भी नहीं कौन है किसे ले जा रही हो बस आती हो और अपने पीछे आंधी का गुबार छोड़ जाती हो मौत मुस्कुराई अरे आज तुम भी इस कहानी में झटपटाई मैं तो जन्मों की संगनी हर बार तुम्हारे साथ आई हाँ दू न मैं दिखाई पर कब मैं तुमसे पर आई मैं तो वो सवेरा हूं जो ढूंढते हो तुम सभी कुछ जाग जाते हैं पहले कुछ सो लेते थोड़ी देर और आ जाती उन्हें उठाने में होनी है उनकी भी तो भोर घर कोई सपना तुम थे देख रहे डूबे थे किसी कहानी में वो टूटा मेरे आने से आंख तुम्हारी खुली तभी अच्छा या बुरा सही पर था तुम्हारा स्वप्न ही मेरे तू मेरे तोड़ने से ही टूटता भ्रम का ये माया जाल है मेरे होने से ही छूटता सदियों का ये जंजाल है वो रात जिसमें सोए तुम वो रात जिसमें खोए तुम तुम ही ने कहा बहुत सो लिया तुम ही ने चाहा कि उठ जाऊं तुम ही ने मांगी जागृति तुम ही ने सवेरा बुला लिया नींद टूटी जो तुम्हारी जाग जाओगे जब तुम नींद टूटे जो तुम्हारी जाग जाओगे जब तुम सपनों में बसना छोड़ के जब शिव ही बन जाओगे तुम तो मुझे दुतकार ना छोड़ मुझ में ही रम जाओगे तुम मैं तो बस सवेरा हूं सूर्य बन जाओगे तुम मैं चुप हो चली मुझे भान था मृत्यु का काम कहाँ आसान था हर रात की सुबह हुई फिर भी न जागे हम बस मौत हुई ओम मणि 
and the answer the answer over here that was given to us the answer that was given to me is that we understand from the day that we are born that this is the way death plays out it has been with us forever and ever and yet we keep getting into the story we keep creating more and more grief through this actor called death okay everybody a deep breath in if there are any more questions we will come to it a bit later but right now time for a little small meditation so being in the energy of me now take a deep breath in and be in my energy as you take my energy understand you are me now you're not like me now you're not like wanting to be me now no you are that grace that abundance in this moment that's how the energy works you and i are sharing the same source and now simply putting your focus on any of those actors that might have created some grief for you if there has been any one or more than one person who has given you grief simply bring them into your awareness right now as you look at them they are energy and you you are energy too look at them and make this awareness to yourself i am meenal and they are meenal too i am meenal and they are meenal too so look at them in front of you and yes i am meenal and you are meenal too no separation both of us just meenal and now bring money into the picture he could come to you as energy or as a body form or even a butterfly or just some light and even as you look at money the same lines i am meenal and you are meenal too and now in whatever forms you are seeing these beautiful energies look at them and smile you are energy they are energy both playing in love unconditional love a big smile across your face you thank them for this actor role that they have played they had to give you this grief only because you should be able to release it you become aware and now you release and for them only thankfulness and now you hold these hands these hands of all that you have brought to your awareness and you hold the hand of money as well and now looking at each other that smile turns to a little laughter a tiny little giggle you are looking at each other and giggling how silly that you thought that the love was lost how silly that you thought that someone could go away everything in the energies right here belonging to yourself you are the energy and they too are simply energy and looking at each other that laughter becomes a little bit more till we're all laughing just like children making no sense just simply beautiful laughter 
you can hear the laughter all around you. And laughter is the only energy that's playing out right now between all of you. No grief, no. That's the energy from the mind space. Laughter, full-hearted laughter, the energy of the heart space. And you tuned into this beautiful laughter frequency right now. Smiling, giggling, looking at each other and understanding the play. And now put all your focus onto your heart. As you look at your heart, look at it. It's in the energy of Meenal. It is receiving energy from Meenal. It's looking so shiny. It's bright. It's light. If you see any parts of your heart which need some extra attention, then simply go there and gently touch it, love it, hug it. Do whatever you wish to do. You, in your own heart, you, healing your own heart. No grief there anymore. In this moment, in this now, you are the energy of Meenal, playing in laughter, playing in love, playing in so much joy, the heart feeling so light and so beautiful. Put all of these actors also in your heart. Just place them in your heart. They're all menal. You are menal too. And that's where they stay now, but with the energy of love. This energy of grief that we have transformed now to laughter. You are meaner. Only. You can do this process with yourself again and again. You can do some deeper release tools, but just knowing that this too is simply a frequency. The power is in your hands to change your frequency. You are Shiva. Remember that. Okay, everyone. Lots and lots of love and see you next week. Till then, be in the frequency of Meenal. <laughs>